so this month I actually read quite a fascinating article on uh, how to build uh, recommendation engines in R. So this was designed for um, the marketing data science team, if you like. But uh, for me, uh, one, it was interesting to learn about recommendation engines and how they work and, and the principles behind it. So it was a really good introductory article as well as having code at the back end, um, and which I completely avoided. But the, for me, uh, what was really interesting about it and thinking about it was this kind of light bulb moment when I thought about what does that mean for uh, analytics content and how large enterprises deploy analytics into their organizations. And what I realized about that and what I realized about sort of content recommenders is uh, one of the reasons, and you, you continually hear this from enterprise deployments, is this, this lack of user adoption. And one of the challenges is actually building curated content for everyone in the organization individually and uniquely. So it's very easy to build a generic sales dashboard, it's very easy to build a generic marketing dashboard, but people aren't generic. You know, you've kind of, you've, you've built something by committee, it doesn't really solve the needs of every individual. And so content recommendation done well solves for that problem. And when you look at large deployments and the challenges that enterprise have is that they don't have the resources to tailor analytics for every individual in the organization for their role and where they sit and their experience and, and their own personal experience. And this is what I think content recommendation offers. So if we think about the problem of curation not as a problem that is solvable by the enterprise, but it's solvable through automation, then it becomes a problem that the vendor needs to think about. And to date, you don't see that. Most vendors create tools that allow enterprise to build stuff but it doesn't help to automate and deliver that content as needed and in the most relevant way to end users. And I think for me, this is what this article really helped me encapsulate is that there is a way to do that and it can be done efficiently, it can be done effectively. And again, it can really disrupt the way in which analytics is viewed within organizations.